we are in this particular video we're gonna learn about numpy index search right what is that let's try to understand that with the help of an example okay so let's say if we are given this particular array and we are asked to access this particular element out of this means take this element out okay how can we do that for example we can simply say my arr that's the array name and we can put the index position of this particular element how can we do that how can we get the index position it's a simple way right counting it starting from 0 1 2 2 is its index position if you put 2 over here here is the result you got that particular element now think of a situation where you have this big array even more bigger than this right how can we do that in that particular situation if you are asked to put if you asked to if you are asked to access this particular element out of this array how can we do that so for that taking count manually counting the index position of this will be a big task and boring also right and that could be a uh, you know very tedious thing so is there a shortcut to do that yes that's where the numpy's functionality to search for the index value comes into the picture how can you do that np where simple and in that put the array name in which we want to do the search and then the value which we want to search is equals to 12 right so we're gonna say 12 and when you do this here is the index position you got and now you can easily access that particular element right in this you can put 11 and you got that particular value out right for example if you want to access 16 so you can do this and what is the value that you got 15 right so you have to type 15 over here and you got that value now if this is something which looks very repetitive and very tedious you can even combine these two together in a square bracket and you will get the answer just right here you see here you got that answer 16 okay so this is how you can make use of this particular thing now there is another benefit of this if you want to check out the index position of all the even numbers given in this particular array how can you do that so for that all that you need to do is type this kind of syntax and in here you simply need to say a arr divided by 2 here we are simply trying to divide each element in this particular array and we are trying to check wherever the result equals to 0 so this is the answer right so here it says on first position you have an even number so just check that out 0 1 so what this is the first index position and here we have the value 2 that means the answer is correct now if you want to find out the list of index position wherever the value is odd all that you need to do is here you need to say not equals to 0 right and when you hit enter you got this answer here it says position 0 at position 0 you have the first odd number let's have a look so here is the position 0 here is the position 0 and we have 1 which is of course an odd number or here it says the next value which we have odd is at second position that is this 3 right so we have that answer correct so this is how you can make use of this the another advantage of this is here if you see if i ask you to find out where what all are the index position where we have the value equals to 16 so how can you do that same thing you're gonna do right np dot where in this you provide the array name and then put the value which you want to look for which is 16 right and then you do this oops here we need to say equals to right and when you hit enter you got this answer it says that this value is repeated four times right because you see the four index position and these are the index position where you have this particular value right so this is how you can get the index position even for the repeated values next one here another problem statement comes into the picture right so here this is the index uh, the, oh, sorry this is the array you have been given and if i ask you to insert the value 8 into this particular array but take care of this thing if you notice this particular array is sorted 2 5 7 8 7 9 11 right it is sorted in, in increasing order or ascending order I want you to insert 8 into this but make sure that the sorting doesn't get destroyed 
how can we do that so if you just if you are not given an index position and if i simply ask you to insert 8 you can take any index position for example let's say 4 and on that you put 8 so if you see this this is how it looks right it is not looking good here till here it is in ascending order and here it is descending right that that's not good so how can we so such sort helps you to find a appropriate position where you can insert your values and it will not destroy the sorting how can we use that for that you simply need to say np dot search sorted and in that put the array name which is arr2 and put the value which you want to insert that value is 8 i want to insert over here so it says on the third position you can insert this value and your array will remain sorted let's try that okay so arr2 and on the third position i'm going to insert 8 and then i'm going to print this particular array which is arr2 and you see the result over here the result is okay there is a little thing let me fix that okay so here it says two five seven eight eleven so it just replaced all right so we see we just saw that this is how we inserted a value in this particular list and the list remain sorted okay so this is how you can make use of search sorted function to insert any value in a given array i just hope that it was clear to you just in case if you get any doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely sort that out and put reply into the comment itself until then happy learning wish you very all the